how to use Trello in 2020. Hey team, Stuart here, welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well and pushing through this global pandemic. Now in today's tutorial, we're gonna show you how to use Trello. Now Trello is a fantastic free project management software for beginners. Now in this Trello tutorial, we're gonna show you exactly step by step how to use each feature and element within Trello. We're also gonna show you how to create a streamlined project workflow for you and your team, a simple place to collaborate together. Trello is an ideal project manager Management software for individuals and teams looking to stay connected and productive, especially during this economic crisis and lockdown. Now, before we dive into Trello, and if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and tapping the bell icon, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos designed to help your small or local business thrive online. All right, that covered, let's head over to my computer and let's get started. All right, so first things first, we need to jump over to Trello.com and sign up. Now it's free to sign up. All you need to do is head over to sign up, click here, and here we wanna create our account. So what you can do is pop in your email here or come down and sign up with Google or with Microsoft. So we like to keep everything in one place, all our accounts and tools in one place. So we're gonna continue with Google. So we're gonna click here. And here you want to choose the Google account you want to sign up with. So we're going to click here and you will arrive at this page. And this is the initial setup to get started with Trello. So you can start collaborating with your teams and start creating your own project workflows. So the first thing we want to do is type in down here the first project you want to work on. So for the purpose of today's tutorial, we're going to focus on a web design project. So we're going to call this project web design. And once you've named your first board or your first project or workflow, then come down here and click. Okay, so now that we've created our board, we've named our project, your board is broken down into really three elements. You've got your board, then you have lists, and then within those lists we have cards, as you can see here. All right, so now that we've named our project, we've named our board, as you can see, this is our board, the green layout here. Then these elements here, these three boxes, are what we call lists. Then these tabs here are actually called cards. Now with Trello, it's a linear format. So you work from left through to right. So as you can see here, things to do, things that maybe you need to get done within this project. Then what are you currently doing? What's currently active or what's in progress? Then next to that we have done. So these are projects that are already complete. So this is a simple layout of a project workflow. So if we come over here and rename these, we're gonna keep this example very streamlined. So as you can see, we've got tasks to do. So these are tasks we need to complete within web design. Then next to that, we have in progress. So once a task is completed, we can move that into in progress. These jobs are currently being worked on. And then we have complete. So these are our three lists that we're gonna work with today. Task to do, in progress, and complete. And remember, this works in a linear format. So we work from left through to right. So once you've added the names of your lists, then we can move on to cards. So click down here. And here we want to add our cards. So quickly, let's add our cards for our first list. And as you can see, we've added our card names under our first list. So task to do, we've got choose website colors, and then homepage, so constructing and designing the homepage, and then the services page. So these are tasks that need to be complete. Once you've added a few titles to your cards, we can click down here. Now remember you can add more later on, this is just to get started, so you kind of understand how it all works. So once you've done that, click here, and here you want to add details. So this is just a quick overview. So for example, over here we've got choose website colors. Now we can add a description, add attachments, a a checklist and we can add comments. So over here we're going to add a checklist item under the card titled choose website colors. And as you can see we've added a checklist item called logo colors because under choose website colors we have logo colors that need to be decided and need to be created. So that's a checklist under choose website colors. So once you've done that you've added a name to your checklist, click down here. And congratulations, you've just created your first Trello board. Now you understand the basics of lists and cards. Click here and we can start going through our entire dashboard. And there we have it, welcome to your first Trello board. So we've just gone through the first initial five steps of kind of understanding how to create 
your board, your project or workflow. So now what we want to do is head over to our home page before we break down all the elements and features within the board as we can see in front of us. Now if we head over to our home page up in the left hand corner, click here. And here is our home dashboard. Now it's very simple, very plain, uh, very simplistic, but basically what we have on the left is our boards. So if we click here, this is where you can see your recently viewed boards or your personal boards down here. You can also create a new board here. Now if we pop over to templates, here is actually where you can choose pre-made templates to start designing and building your board for collaboration. So again, you can have a look at the different featured categories, business, design, education. We've got options down here. All you need to do is click on them and each one's going to pop up with a whole bunch of pre-made templates or boards that you can use to start designing. Now you can choose to design from scratch or you can choose these pre-made templates. So again, we'll pop back to templates. We're not gonna focus on templates now. Now let's head back to boards. Now we're not gonna to talk too much about templates today because we wanna show you how to create your own board because once you understand all the elements and features of creating your own Trello board, then you can easily use the templates available to create your own project workflow and place to collaborate. So we've checked out boards, then we've got the templates and down here, if we click on home, this is where you can see information in regards to changes that have been made on your boards that you're part of. You can see information that's up to date, what have people added in terms of comments, um, what projects are complete, what projects are still under development. Here you can essentially just see everything that's going on with the boards that you're part of. And then if we pop down here, we can click create a team. And this is where you can create a team to collaborate on your boards with. So if we type in a team name, I've just typed in our company for the team name. And down here, you can choose the type of team this is. So for us, we're just going to go project management. And down here, you can type a quick description. This is handy if you have a bunch of different teams, uh, different departments working together on different project workflows. So I'm going to quickly type in the team description here. And that is the basic description we're going to go with. Then once you're happy with all that information, click continue. And this is where you invite people to the team that you just made. So think about the team that you just made. Who do you want to be as part of your new team? So all you need to do is add the emails in here to invite the team members and then they can join you in collaborating with your board and working on your project. So once you've added your team members here, just click invite to team. Now, because this is just a tutorial, we're not actually going to create a team. So we're just going to skip this for now. And here we are at our team dashboard. So here you can choose a template to get started with or create a template. Then we can click on members over here and see who's part of the team. We can also invite more team members. And then if we pop over to settings, this is where you can change your team visibility. So for example, if I click change, I can choose public or private. Now you can go public if you like. Again, only the members that you invite into your team can edit your board. However, your board is gonna show up on Google. So people can actually see your board. It's not private. People can search it online and actually see your board and view everything that's going on, but they can't edit the information. So I recommend keeping it as private. You can also connect to Slack. Now Slack is a great collaboration and communication tool. Uh, if you're using it, you can connect with Slack here. And down here is just more information in terms of upgrading to the business class plan, uh, which is a paid version of Trello, which you really do not need unless you have a large team. And if we come up here, we can also change the profile picture. But for now, we'll head back to our homepage and we'll head over to boards and dive into the board we recently created so you understand how it all works. So click on your first project board that we just made earlier and welcome back to your dashboard. Now what we're going to do is just cover all the elements that you can see on your board so you understand how it all works. So if we start on the left hand side because as you can see our projects, so these are our lists, they work in a linear format from left to right. So we'll start up, up here, again we have the home button here. If we click here you can see all the boards that you're currently working on. If we come over to personal, this is where we can add the team that we made earlier. So if we come down here and click Cindio Media, so we wanna make this board visible to the team that we just created, or you can create a new team here. So we're gonna click Add, and now the team that I created earlier, Cindio Media, can now access this Trello board. Then if we pop over to Team Visibility, 
Again, this is just where you can change the visibility of your board. So currently it is with the team. So all members of the Cindio team can see and edit this board. That's exactly what I want. So I'm gonna exit out of that. Then if we come across here, this is just your profile. Over here, you can invite individuals to work on your board, just like we did earlier. You can add an email here or name if you're already connected with them, or you can create a link and send that to a team member for them to access this Trello board. Then all you need to do is send invitations. So we'll exit out of that. If we head over to the right hand side, this is the butler and it's quite good. It gives you automated tips to essentially help you out when you create and design your board. So we'll exit out of that one. Then if we head over to this plus sign on the right hand side, you can create a board, you can create a team, or you can create a business team. So this is when you have the paid version. So we'll exit out of that. This is just all the notifications of all the activities that have been happening on your board. So we'll exit out of that one. So if we click on your profile here, this is just basic profile information, settings, visibility, activities, cards. And then if we head over to show menu, this is where we can change a few important things about this page. This is where we're going to start creating and customizing our Trello project board. So the first thing we want to do is add a description to our board. Pop down here and add a quick description so that your team members understand what this board is all about. And once you've added a basic description, come down here and click save. Then click return and pop down here and let's change the background. Now you can choose images by clicking photos and you can choose any of these. Now if we come back up here and click back, now I like to choose colors because it's a lot easier to read what's happening on the Trello board, especially when you start having more lists and more cards. It gets quite confusing and it's hard to read when you have all these different patterns in the background. So I'm gonna choose a basic color. I like the look of blue and then I'm going to pop up here and click back, back again. And if we pop down here, we can see the activities of changes made on this board. So I'm going to head up here and click X. All right. Now with all those elements covered, let's start working on our Trello project board. So let's start working on our lists and our cards. So you have an understanding of how you can create your own project workflow. So like we mentioned before, your Trello board is broken up into really five areas. You've got your board here, which you can see. Then we have lists. So each of these three tabs here are called lists. Then these elements here are what we call cards. Now within each card, if I click here, these are elements that we can add to the card. So in the beginning, we actually added a checklist logo color. So this is what we call an element within cards and you can add others here, which we'll go through soon. Then we have actions or activities. So actions are essentially just completing a checklist just like that or coming down here and adding a comment. And these are what we call activities. And those are really the five things you need to understand to really efficiently create a Trello board. So you've got the board itself, then you have lists, cards, elements, and then activities. So now let's break down these five elements a bit more so you have an understanding how to create your workflow. So we'll exit out of that. Again, firstly, we have the board here, and then we have our lists. So we've got tasks to do, in progress, and complete. So for example, under this list, we have a card. Now, if I click on this card, we have a checklist. Now you can add other checklists down here. For example, I'll add website theme color and click add. And then I can jump out of that. One out of the two checklists are complete. So what I can do is I can actually move this under progress because it's in progress. You know, we've completed one out of the two elements. So it's already been started and it's in progress. And then for example, if someone else clicks on this card and they complete the web theme color, 100% of the checklist is complete. And I can exit out of this and that individual, someone in my team or myself, I can move and drag that over to complete. And now I have one card that is now complete. So it's as easy as that. All you need to do is drag and drop. Now you can also come across here and if I click on this list here, I can come down here and add a description. And I've just written in the description, here we need to complete the three areas to the homepage. So I'm gonna click save. And then over here, I'm gonna come down and again, you can add members, you can add labels. So I'm gonna click labels and then I can come down and click this red and edit. Now I'm gonna say this is urgent and then click save and then I'm going to click on urgent and as you can see that's a label and you can add as many labels as you want here 
or you can pop over here and click add label so that is urgent then again we have checklists so i'm going to add three checklists here you can add a title for example checklist for completing home page and then click add and there we have our checklist now within that checklist there are three areas to the home page so i'm going to add them down here and I'm happy with those three elements there. So remember, you can add anything you like. Think about your project and think about how you want to break it down. So this is the home page. We need to complete it fast. It's an urgent part of the design process. We've got a description here. And then these are the three checklists, the three things we need to get completed in order to finish the home page. Checklist for completing home page. Then we can add a due date. So for example, I could go a week out from here. And then down here, you can add a reminder. So I'm going to say two days beforehand and this reminder will be sent two days before and it will be sent to all the members and watchers of this card that we're working on. So I'm going to click save and as you can see we've got the date up here. If we come down we can add an attachment, we can change the cover. So if I click cover we can add a cover. Um, I'm going to click productivity and then click this and I'm happy with that cover. Again, another great thing about Trello is you can make it extremely visual, very appealing for individuals to engage with, which just makes the project a lot more fun and more enjoyable to work on. Again, if we come down here, this is part of the paid plan, and then we have move, so we can actually either drag this element over to in progress, or we can click move. And if we click move, we can choose where we want to send it to. So if I click here, it's gonna move it to in progress, or we can choose down here. So I'm gonna leave that as it is for now. Then we can copy this card, we can make a template, we can watch it, archive and share. So again, if I click here, let's say we've completed 67% of the home page. Now what I wanna do is move it over to in progress. So I'm gonna click here. And if I exit out of this card, you can see that now this card is in progress because as you can see, two out of the three checklists are complete. This is the date here. And again, if you want more information, you can just click on the card. And here is all the information. You can add a comment down here, just like that. And then click save. And then we have a comment. So I'm gonna exit out of that. So as you can see, if we come over here to task to do, we've got one card or task that hasn't been started yet. If we move over to this list here in progress, we've got one card that is in progress that's nearly complete. And then on this list here, we've got another one card, which is already complete. As you can see, it is complete here. Then we've got the label here, which says urgent. So as you can see, it's very creative, it's very colorful, it's very easy to create a project workflow. All you need to do is create a list, then under the list you have cards, then under each card you have elements like checklists, the date, comments, and then with that your entire team can interact with your project, they can act on each task, and everyone within the team can see what is being complete, they can add information, and the entire team can collaborate more efficiently together with Trello. Now if we head back to the home page, and we pop down to home, this is basically your timeline to see everything that's been happening. You can see important elements like the due date, you can see changes that have been made or comments that people have written, and you can add information, for example, you can reply or add an emoji to these activities here. And if you wanna head back to your board, all you need to do is click on your board here. And that is everything you need to know to really start interacting, collaborating, and creating your first Trello board. So you can start managing your projects a lot more efficiently, more creatively, and more visual. Again, this is gonna be great when a lot of the workforce around the world is gonna be based at home. So give it a go, take some time to go through your board, your lists, your cards, and all the different elements and activities. And that way you'll start understanding how Trello works. And after you've created your first board or two, then you can start using the templates we talked about earlier, and you can start customizing those the way that you like. And that is how you use Trello. And that is basically it for understanding how to get started with Trello. If you have any questions, make sure you pop them down below. And if you're interested in joining our small business community, make sure you click the link in the description below this video, sign up with your email and you'll receive valuable tips, advice, tutorials directly into your email. And with that said, make sure to subscribe to this channel, hit the thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.